original saw with solvent and an axe stone, um, you could do a beautiful job, but it would involve drizzling lots of toxic solvent out on the ground, and it would probably take three or four hours. But with this pumice stone and my water here, I always flatten it on a sidewalk first just to get a flat spot to start. But see, as soon as I start scrubbing, it's scrubbing up the rust. Check this out. I've already got metal. Already got clean metal. Because there's really no need to use a belt sander or a disc grinder or any kind of power tool if you've got a pumice stone. And I have these nice pumice stones I picked from, from Mono County. I'm hoping you guys will want these because I have more at home. And I use a pumice stone and water. You can also buy griddle brick pumice stones from restaurant supply places. But these nice lightweight Mono County pumice stones are better because they're softer and they kind of decompose as you use them and scrub without scratching. Now, if I do scrub up at the points, I'm not ruining the teeth, they're ruining the stone. No problem there. So I can clean right up to the tips of the teeth. Now, another good thing about this pumice stone is I'm cleaning the saw with a flat surface. So if there's a bump or a kink or a dent, in this saw, it's going to be highlighted. Now, if you look at this saw, see all those shiny spots? As I cleaned that saw with my pumice stone, it highlighted all the bumps and ripples. And it gave me a little bit of idea of what happened to that saw. I think somebody got it stuck once and broke it and then hammered on it a lot to straighten it out and made those marks in it.